guys welcome back on Explomo road trip day two with the bros of DK and Steve Ronan and we're standing in this old garage filled with old cars yeah this is a really amazing place it actually was from Mr. Gilbert and he really loved to collect cars and in the time he had over 200 cars actually there are only 200 cars over here but he left a lot of cars over here you you guys will really Going to check this out and you guys will be really stunning about all the cars that are standing here some really old beautiful models actually models from peugeot fiat and citroën all french brands because now we're running france so that's logic i will be behind the camera today because i don't have much knowledge about cars Raymond does so he will I talk have, about yeah, everything yeah. and introduce you in this amazing place so guys Enjoy watching this video. Right. Yeah, this is a really, really, really nice old timer. And actually, if I look at the back, I can see an exact brand on it. But maybe at the front we can see the brand of this car. Oh, this is a really old old timer. Actually, personal, I don't know this brand. It says Penhard. I have seen it before. Yeah, maybe before, but I don't think this brand is still alive today. Some of the brands that are over here, indeed, they didn't survive nowadays. The, days, the brands we know nowadays are Fiat, of course, Peugeot, and Citroën. This is a really huge French brand, and they make great cars nowadays. standing right next to you. this is an old mercedes-benz in that time it was really a luxury brand only rich people could afford cars like this let's take a look at the back if you guys take a look at the complete back of this thing you can definitely recognize that it's an old mercedes-benz and actually what is the model name 220 se what does it say on the other side? No, it doesn't say anything. Well, right now, I'm going to take you to the front and take a look at the engine. And then the grill, and then at the top. This beautiful Mercedes-Benz logo. Whoa. And actually, normally there should be a Mercedes-Benz uh, star right on top of this, but people took it off. Actually, the Mercedes-Benz logos, they were taken off because these things are really expensive. And definitely from these old cars. Nowadays, I think there are some collectors and they are worth a lot of money. So I think that's the reason people took it away unfortunately but yeah just don't steal stuff from these abandoned places Look at 
this car over here. This is a really long extended car. And look at the tire, it's completely gone. Maybe we can take a look inside. I really want to see. We can actually open the door, so. Walking in this place is very hard, guys. Yeah. It's like all the cars are positioned next to each other, so it's pretty hard. And I will try to reach you there. And actually, the logo of this car is gone, and I already told Moreno that it was a Rover, possibly, because I'm, uh, the, the, the print of the logo is still over there, and you can see the nowadays rover still has to like this print and if we take a look inside of the car at the steering wheel you can see that it says rover over here and look at the inside of the car yeah really vintage really old all right guys right in front of us are another four cars these three white ones and this black one and it's pretty hard to reach them but we will try to yeah, film them as sufficient as possible all right over here is another mercedes you can see at the mercedes logo and just look at the grill that is definitely from mercedes in that time Over here is an old Citroën, you can see the old logo, still the same nowadays. Actually really beautiful how these car brands just still have the same logo, still have the same unique logo. People, all people will recognize this one. And actually this wasn't only a car, it was like a van, because in the back you can see Over here was a big storage and maybe whoa that isn't much luxury inside but it's something you literally only have the steering wheel the speed, the speed meter and yeah that's everything and the storage in the back well there is still a couch inside. Yeah, maybe it was also used for passengers. Well, take a look at this Peugeot. It has a cast on it. And actually if you wipe over here, you can see that it is painted. And this looks like a sport car for that days. Yeah, it's customized. Yeah, it's customized because take a look at the tires and take a look at the rims. These aren't normal rims, so someone definitely did something with it. Someone customized this car. Also some classic old tire. Actually, I can't see the brand of this one because... Wow! Oh my god, dude, I didn't expect that you could lift it up so easily. Yeah. Well, now you can take a look at the wall engine. There's actually not much left of the engine. No. Like, I think some people strip some stuff out. Yeah. But it's cool though, the fact that we can take a look inside of this old, old timer. Yeah. All right guys, look at this car. It's just incredible, like, it's my favorite car of this place. And as I told you guys before, I don't have much knowledge about cars. But this one's definitely really cool. It also has like on the bottom over there, it says Monaco Arte. And uh, yeah, well, just look at the design, like how the lamps are made, the spoiler, and yeah, the logo. It's just really cool. Like you don't see cars like this driving through, like on the roads nowadays. It's yeah, 
it's very cool. And actually, if we give you a close-up of this car, it's from Renault. And this is also a famous brand nowadays. And I think this one was one of their first cars they ever created. So this is some really history, some really good history that is standing right over here. Whoa, beautiful. Well, let's see what is actually still inside of here. Well, if you do that, you heard it. What? There's even stuff still left in this cabin. Yeah, like, wow. Look at the steering wheel. Yeah, but also at the speed, the velocity meter. It's really cool. And actually, this one is still pretty from the inside. Man, the seats back you, the seats in front of you. It's not rotten at all. No. Moves a bit though, but nice. Yeah, over here is the model I was talking about. It's like pretty hidden between these two cars. This is Peugeot 204 and this car was actually produced between 1965 and 1967. Yeah. After that they made the 205 and before they made the 203 and the 203 was produced between 1949 and 1960 so yeah that's a really long time ago man, a really long time ago. But take a look at the difference between the models. Even Actually, if Marino can film it over here, this car is a 203, and this one is a 204. Look at the difference between them. This is crazy. Like from that to this, guys. Wow. And it's a five-year difference. So you got to accept that Peugeot made the last models of these ones in 1960 and then they started creating these in 1965. So in a five year difference they created a complete other car. And the last car behind you, it's a Fiat Simca. Yeah. Wow. And what I just love about these old cars, always these two lamps like this. Yeah, this round bulbs. Yeah, yeah, they like this eyes. Yeah, I think it's really cool. We are not doing this explorer alone. Steve is kind of struggling climbing these cars. Are you okay? Try again out here. Did you like the place? Yeah, this is dope. Great. Guys, subscribe to us. Well, we're actually watching his videos, man. They pull out some amazing content. Um, yeah, you guys gotta keep up with them and we have so much more days to go. We're hitting up spots as epic as this, so stay tuned, watch our adventure. Yeah. Yeah Peace. guys, we have a lot to go. We have a lot of locations still to visit today. It's gonna be amazing. I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching to this explore again. Thanks to Raymond for all the information he knows about his cars. Yeah, it wasn't all completely correct, but I know a little bit. I thought I know more about his cars, but yeah. I, I took some information off the internet and some things are true, maybe they aren't true, just leave it in the comment section below and then if you have some tips and yeah, we just appreciate, thank you for watching and we see you guys on another exploration next week.